Good morning, my dear students. How are you today? Today, inshallah, we will take the second part of our first unit in Mathematical English Language Book. Unit 1, Lesson 3 and 4, The Sun and the Wind. Open your booklet, please, page 5, and write the short date. We will take our new verse. Number one, hold on. Hold on is a phrasal verb, means catch something strongly. Like this boy. Oh, it's snowy. It's raining snow. So, this boy feels cold. So, he holds on his coat. Hold on means catch something strongly again repeat after me please hold on again hold on again hold on catch something strongly again catch something strongly hold on catch something strongly again hold on catch something strongly number two take off take off is a verb a verb means remove his cloth. When you return back from your school, you take off your uniform or school uniform. Take off means remove his clothes. Take off is the opposite of wear or put on. So when I ask you what the meaning of take off, remove his clothes. What the opposite of take off? Wear or put on again. What the opposite of take off? Wear or put on. The opposite of wear, take off. Number three is a verb. Think. Think. Think is a verb. It means understand. Use your mind or guess. For example, when I ask you a question, um, uh, one plus five equal what? Okay, you will take just a minute you will take just a second to think think here means use your mind again what the meaning of think use your mind or understand okay number four valley 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 is a noun means road between two mountains let's see picture This is the valley. Valley means road. It's a place where I can walk. Road between two mountains. So if I have two mountains and road between them, it's called valley. So it's called what? Valley. So when I ask you now what the meaning of valley, it's a road between two mountains. Again, road between two mountains. Again, road between two mountains. What the meaning of valley? Road between two mountains. Okay. Number five, coat. When it's cold, I will wear my coat. This is, or this, not a jacket. Why? Because it's long. If I have a long jacket, it isn't a jacket. It's coat. It's what? Coat. So when I ask you now, what the meaning of coat? Coat is long jacket. Again, what the meaning of coat? Coat is long jacket. Coat is what? Long jacket. Okay. Let's make a revision quickly. What the meaning of hold on? Catch something strongly. <coughs> Sorry. What the meaning of take off? Remove his clothes. Opposite of wear or put on. What the meaning of think? Use your mind. What the meaning of body? Road between two mountains. What the meaning of coat? Long jacket. Okay. Number six, jockey. Jockey. Jockey is someone who rides a horse in races. Let's see a picture. Create a picture. 
Okay. He's a jockey. Why? Because he rides a horse in races. So, what the meaning of jockey? Someone who rides a horse in races. Again, someone who rides a horse in races. Jockey. What the meaning of jockey? Someone who rides a horse in races. Okay? Let's see word seven. Chimney. What the meaning of a chimney? It's pipe. Just a pipe. To get the smoke out. In factories, we can see a lot of a chimneys. Okay? Let's see clear picture for a chimney. It's a chimney. It's what? It's a chimney. Why? Because it's just a pipe. To get the smoke out. It's a chimney. It's what? Chimney. What the meaning of a chimney? Pipe to get smoke out. Again, pipe to get smoke out. Again, pipe to get smoke out. What the meaning of a chimney? Pipe to get smoke out. Okay? Have you got it? Now, let's return to our new words again. <clears throat> Number one, hold on. What the meaning of hold on? Catch something strongly. What the meaning of take off? Remove his cloth opposite of wear or put on. What the meaning of think? Use your mind. What the meaning of valley? Rock between two mountains. What the meaning of coat? Long jacket. Jockey? Someone who rides a horse in races. Chimney? Pipe to get smoke out. Heavy? Heavy here is an adjective. Means you can't carry it. For example, if your bag is heavy, oh, you can't carry it. Heavy means I can't carry it, something I can't carry it. Opposite of heavy is light. Opposite of heavy, light. L I G H T. Again, heavy means you can't carry it opposite of light, opposite of light. Okay, now I will say the word and you should, uh, sorry, I will say the definition and you should say the word. Uh, 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 use your mind, think, uh, you can't carry it, heavy. Someone who rides a horse in races, jockey. Catch something strongly? Hold on. Um, opposite of where? Take off. Road between two mountains? Valley. You can't carry it? Heavy. Someone who rides a horse in races? Jockey. Okay. Now, let's see our grammar. It's very easy. Today, we will talk about past simple tense. As you know, past simple express, that's the action, happened and stopped in the past. Which means happened and finished in the past, okay? If you see these words in the sentence, you should know that the sentence in past. Yesterday, ago, last, put the verb in the past. Again, yesterday, ago, last, put the verb in the past. Okay? And you should know that the verb expresses about the tense. In past symbol, we have two kinds of verbs, regular verbs and the irregular verbs. Regular verbs which I can put ed or ied to the end of it. Like cooked, like studied, 
For example, Sara cooked lunch three days ago. The sentence in past simple. Why? Because have, we have verb with ed and also the word ago. Okay. And Ahmed studied French last Friday. The sentence in past simple. Why? Because we have verb with ied and also the word last. Okay. Like many verbs, like play, played, uh, jump, jumped, like cooked, cooked, like study, studied, like um, mm, 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 mm. verb with ed, uh, 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 walk, walked, watch, watch it, wash, washed, and so on. Okay? Let's see some irregular verbs, and you should study them hard. Like what? Like, repeat after me, please. Come, came. Come came, hold held, hold held, shine shone, shine shone, blow blue, blow blue, give gave, give gave, make made, make made, fall fell, fall fell, take choke, take choke, right road, right road, read red. Read red. When one, when one, think it so, think it so. Catch cold, catch cold. Drink drank, drink drank. Drive drove, drive drove. Cut cut, cut cut. Put put, put put. Pern pern it, pern pern it. Tomorrow, inshallah, you will have a dictation for it, okay? Now, let's return to our grammar again. <coughs> if we wanted to, uh, yes, we have a third sentence. Our third sentence. The sun shone yesterday. This irregular verb, okay? Okay, if we wanted to put these sentences in negative, negative in English, not, okay? If you wanted, this, uh, if you wanted to put the sentences of past assemble in negative, you should use didn't plus infinitive again, didn't plus infinitive again, didn't plus infinitive. Okay, if we have the sentence... The wind blew yesterday. The wind blew. Sorry. The wind blew yesterday. And I wanted to put not. What should we do? Yes, blue is a past verb. Negative didn't plus infinitive. The wind didn't blow yesterday. Okay. The second one, if I have sentence, the train arrived, A double R I V E D, and I want to put not, what should you do? Yes, arrive to past the tense, uh, negative in past, the didn't plus infinitive. So, the train didn't arrive early, okay? Now, please open your new language page and write these sentences with me. Number one, the sun shone yesterday. The sun shone yesterday. The sentence past. Why? Because we have shone. Past of shine. Okay, number two. The sun didn't shine yesterday. Again, the sun didn't shine yesterday. It's a negative sentence in past symbol. Why? Because we have didn't plus infinitive. Number three. What did you do last week? What did you do last week? This is a question in past tense. Why? You should remember the question steps. Question steps. How you form a question. 
Number one, WH. WH like how, when, what, how often, how long, how many, how much, and so on. After it, helping verb. Our helping verb in past symbol, our helping verb in past symbol, that. So, after the WH, you should put that. After that, subject. Subject like I, he, she, it, we, you, and they. Or Nada, or Talia, or Muhammad, or Ashraf, or Iyad, and so on. Okay? After subject, verb. Mm. What kind of verb? Helping verb that. After that, we should put verb infinite. Again. The question or past simple tense WH that subject and the infinitive again WH that subject and infinitive like this question What did you do last week? Okay. Number four yes or no question. Yes or no question in past simple begins with that. That you drink coffee? Because it begins with that, we should answer with yes or no plus that. So, like this, yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Okay? Okay. Now, we have finished our booklet, and we will go to our book. <coughs> Up in your Page nine, page nine. We will take scene two. Sorry. We will take scene two. Setting in scene two in the valley. So in the place. Characters in scene two: the wind, the sun, and the man. Okay. Let's see these lines, please. The man is walking in the valley. The clouds. Told the wind to try first. The wind, I'm going to blow and blow. I'm going to blow off the man's coat. The wind blew and blew. The man, oh, it's very windy. I must hold on to my coat. The wind, I must blow harder. The man is holding on to his coat. The wind blew and blew, but the man hold on his coat. The wind, I'm very tired, I cannot blow anymore. Now it was the sun's turn. The sun, I'm going to use my fire and shine and shine. The man, oh, it's getting hotter and hotter. The sun, Look, the man is getting hot. The man, I'm very hot. I must take off my coat. The sun, look, the man is taking off his coat. My fire made the man take off his coat. I win. I'm stronger than the wind. So, when I ask you, who is the winner? The sun. Opposite of winner, loser. If I ask you who is the loser here, the win. So now, who is a strong? Who is the strongest one? The sun or the wind? Of course, it's the sun. Have you got it? Okay. Now let's see some questions. It's your homework, but we will answer it ourselves. Underline the correct answer in the following sentence. Number one, yesterday the sun shine, shone, shines on the grass. Mm. Our miss said yesterday ago last would never be in the past. So here I have yesterday. So I want the verb in past. The past, the shine or shown or shines, of course shown. 
Okay. Number one. Shown. Excellent. Number two. Did the wind blow? Blue blows the trees. Mm, did the wind? Mm, 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 mm. Did plus verb infinitive. As we know, do does did plus infinitive. The infinitive here blow blue or blows? Of course, blow. So number two, blow. Excellent. Number three, my brother didn't, didn't sleep, slept or sleeps well last Friday. Mm. Do, does, did, plus infinitive. And here I have didn't, also didn't plus infinitive. The infinitive here, sleep or slept or sleeps, sleeps, of course, so sleep. So, number three, sleep. Okay. Number four, my mother makes meat making a delicious cake three days ago. Ago, yesterday ago, last would never be in the past. The past makes or made or making, of course, made. So, number four, made. Good. Number five, the boy doesn't buy. Buys, put a new kind. Dead end. As we said, do that dead. The last infinitive. What should the infinitive here? Buy or buys or put? Buy. Good boys and girls. Okay. Number six. It was raining. Heavy, heavily, light. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It was raining. Here I have a verb, rain. We said yesterday, noun, loves, adjective. But verb, loves, adverb. And the most of the time, the adverb ends with L-Y. Good. Where is the L-Y here? Heavily. So, our sentence, it was raining heavily. Good. Number seven, Sarah got, gets, getting a nice present on her birthday. On her birthday, of course, it's in past. So, we should choose verb in past tense. The past here, got or gets or getting, mm -mm 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 -mm. got means, got is the past of get, good. The last one, last Monday I heard hear, hearing noise in the street, and, and, uh, last, yesterday ago, last would never be in the past, where the past here, heard or hear or hearing, of course, here, here is the past of here. Okay? Now, let's see our rewrite. Rewrite the following sentences using the words between brackets. Number one, the ladies have a free day every week. Between brackets, we have last week. Mm. This sentence is in present. How do you know? That's in present because we have the verb have and the every week have and every week for present, but last week for past. So I must cancel have and every week. Replace have with the past of it. What is the past of have? Had. Okay, so the ladies had a free day. Cancel every week and they put in instead of it. Last week, good. Let's see the answer. The ladies had a free day last week, good. Number two, the sun won the competition. Between brackets, not. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This sentence in past, how do you know? 
because of when. Wang. Wang is the past of when. When I wanted to make negative in past, didn't, plus infinitive. So our sentence, the sun won the competition, the sun didn't win the competition. Yes. Number three, the doorbell rang many times between brackets a minute ago. The doorbell rang many times, it's present. But a minute ago, past. So I must cancel rangus because it's present and cancel also many times. To change the sentence into past, the doorbell past of ring rang. R A N G. The doorbell rang a minute ago. Like this. Okay. Number four, he reads an interesting story. The sentence, present. Number four, six and seven, very easy questions. You should make them as, do them as the homework. They will be very easy, inshallah, okay? And these are their answers. Now we have finished our lesson today. Um, you should study hard because you have a dictation tomorrow and also a small test. Goodbye and good luck.